Welcome to Proofpoint's how-to video tutorial series, which is aimed at sharing Proofpoint's professional services best practices for configuring the Proofpoint Protection Server's features and functionalities. This video tutorial demonstrates how to use TLS fallback with Proofpoint encryption within the Proofpoint Protection Server, or PPS. If your deployment is licensed for Proofpoint encryption, you can configure the Proofpoint Protection Server to try TLS encryption first and then fall back to Proofpoint encryption if the TLS connection fails. The Proofpoint Protection Server includes a policy route named TLS fallback and an SMTP buffer queue named TLS fallback. In our scenario, the Proofpoint Protection Server will attempt a TLS encryption first and then route email back to the TLS fallback buffer queue if and when the TLS connection fails. It's important to note that you cannot use TLS fallback with any domain that is configured with encrypted equals always. This configuration can be verified by accessing the system tab, system module, SMTP encryption dropdown, and TLS domains. In our example, the encrypted column for proofpoint.com does not equal always, so we're good to go. We can begin by verifying that the TLS fallback buffer queue is configured. Select the System tab, System module, Settings dropdown, and SMTP page. Verify that the TLS fallback buffer queue is configured correctly. In our example, there is an ID titled TLS fallback with a local host and a hello domain listed as pps.tls fallback. The next step is to verify that the TLS fallback policy route exists and is enabled. Within the System tab, navigate to the System Module Policy Routes page. Click on the TLS underscore fallback policy route. Review the policy route conditions for accuracy and then select the Cancel button. The next step is to navigate to the Email Protection tab, Email Firewall Module, Rules page. We will create a new rule by selecting the Add Rule button. Enable the rule by selecting the On Radio button and then create an ID and description for the rule. Leave the Policy Routes checkboxes unchecked and then click on the Add Condition button. For the Condition dropdown, select Policy Route equals TLS Fallback and then select the Add Condition button. For the Delivery method, select the Secure Radio button, which will use the Proofpoint Encryption method. As an optional item, we can quarantine these messages to a specific folder or send a message to the administrator and or sender that the rule has fired. Once finished, click on the Add Rule button. We can now see the new email firewall rule at the bottom of the list. For each rule, we want to try TLS encryption first and then fall back to Proofpoint encryption when necessary. We can edit the rule by navigating to the Information Protection tab, Regulatory Compliance Module, and Rules page. Edit the PCI rule by selecting the Edit button. In the Policy Routes section, select the Disable Processing for Selected Policy Routes box and then move the TLS Fallback Policy Route to the right so that it appears in the Disable for Any Of list. For the delivery method, instead of Continue, we'll select the Reroute Radio button and then select TLS Fallback. Finally, select the Save Changes button. For each additional rule that will encrypt messages with Proofpoint encryption, continue to use Secure as the delivery method 
and encrypt message using proof point encryption as the secure action. Thank you for watching our brief how to video tutorial on how to use TLS fallback with proof point encryption within the proof point protection server or PPS. For additional information on our products, visit our knowledge base at https colon forward slash forward slash kb dot proofpoint dot com. For questions, comments, or feedback on this tutorial, please email us at training at proofpoint dot com.